Hello everyone, today we will understand India's climate, vegetation, and wildlife. The major seasons recognized in India are, 1. Cold weather season, that is from December to February, is called winter. 2. Hot weather season, that is from March to May, is called summer. 3. Southwest monsoon season, that is from June to September, is called rainy season, and 4. Season of retreating monsoon, that is in October and November, is called autumn. Cold weather season or winter, during the winter season, the sun rays do not fall directly in the region. As a result the temperatures are quite low in northern India. Hot weather season or summer, in the hot weather season sun rays more or less directly fall in this region. Temperature becomes very high. Hot and dry winds called Lu, blow during the day. Southwest monsoon season or rainy season, this season is marked by the onset and advance of monsoon. The winds blow from Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal towards the land. They carry moisture with them. When these winds strike the mountain barriers, rainfall occurs. Season of retreating monsoons or autumn, winds move back from the mainland to the Bay of Bengal. This is the season of the retreating monsoons. The southern parts of India, particularly Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh receive rainfall in this season. The climate is about the average weather condition, which have been measured over many years. The climate of India has broadly been described as monsoon type. Due to India's location in the tropical region, most of the rain is brought by monsoon winds. Agriculture in India is dependent on rains. Good monsoons mean adequate rain and a bountiful crop. The climate of a place is affected by its location, altitude, distance from the sea, and relief. Therefore, we experience regional differences in the climate of India. Due to varied climatic conditions, India has a wide range of natural vegetation. Vegetation of India can be divided into five types, tropical evergreen forest, tropical deciduous forest, thorny bushes, mountain vegetation, and mangrove forests. Tropical rain forests occur in the areas which receive heavy rainfall. They are so dense that sunlight doesn't reach the ground. Many species of trees are found in these forests, which shed their leaves at different times of the year. Therefore, they always appear green and are called evergreen forest. Important trees found in these forests are mahogany, ebony and rosewood. Andaman and Nicobar Islands, parts of northeastern states and a narrow strip of the western slope of the western Ghats, are home of these forests. In a large part of our country we have tropical deciduous forests. These forests are also called monsoon forests. They are less dense. They shed their leaves at a particular time of the year. Important trees of these forests are sal, teak, people, neem, and shisham. They are found in Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Odisha, and in parts of Maharashtra. Thorny bushes are found in dry areas of the country. The leaves are in the form of spines to reduce the loss of water. Cactus, Kare, Babul, Kikar are important and are found in the states of Rajasthan, Punjab, Haryana, eastern slopes of western Ghats and Gujarat. A wide range of species is found in the mountains according to the variation in height. With increase in height, the temperature falls. At a height between 1500 meters and 2500 meters most of the trees are conical in shape. These trees are called coniferous trees. Chur, pine, and eater are important trees of these forests. Mangrove forests can survive in saline water. They are found mainly in Sundarbans in West Bengal and in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Sundari is a well-known species of trees in mangrove forests, after which Sundarbans have been named. Forests are home to a variety of wildlife. There are thousands of species of animals, and a large variety of reptiles, amphibians, mammals, birds, insects and worms which dwell in the forest. The tiger is India's national animal. Gur Forest in Gujarat is the home of Asiatic lions. 
Elephants and one-horned rhinoceroses roam in the forests of Assam. Elephants are also found in Kerala and Karnataka. Camels and wild asses are found in the Great Indian Desert and the Ran of Kutch respectively. Wild goats, snow leopards, bears, etc. are found in the Himalayan region. India is equally rich in bird life. The peacock is India's national bird. Other common birds are parrots, pigeons, mina, geese, bulbul and ducks. There are several hundreds of species of snakes found in India. Cobras and crates are important among them. Due to cutting of forests and hunting, several species of wildlife of India are declining rapidly. Many species have already become extinct. In order to protect them many national parks, sanctuaries, and biosphere reserves have been set up. The government has also started Project Tiger and Project Elephant to protect these animals. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to stay tuned.